situation. What is it? Monsters. Right, well, monster? What monster? What are you talking about? A big, about? scary monster. You don't know? Everybody's talking about it. Look, man, I just got back from Italy. All oh, right, you were on vacation. We didn't miss you at all. Yeah, whatever. Come on, what's all the fuss about this monster? All right, let me fill you in. Yeah. It appears in public places. The mall, the station, yeah. even the airport. And what does he do? He, or she for all we know, appears in a big scary mask and runs around screaming and shouting yeah. and then terrorizes everybody. And why didn't you arrest this monster? We tried. It's like a ninja. And, and of course you don't know how he or she looks like, what with the mask... You got it. But we did catch two suspects. They're in the sweat box right now. Let me have a look. And what do these fellas have to do with this mess? Well, they're implicated. Security footage shows them on the scene of the crime every time the monster shows up. D they are partners with the monster. We don't know that. But they might be. Should we take a look? Yeah, sure. Are they crazy or something? Well, not quite. But physicists. Anyway, if you want to play games, I'm gonna need a cup of coffee. Alright. The old good cop, bad cop routine? Exactly. I will be the good cop. <laughs> that makes a change. Very funny. Detective Daniela De Vito, who is my colleague, Frank Franson. Hey. Morning. Can you tell me your complete names about this? Um, Tommaso Biancalani. Luis Dyson. Okay, I'll cut to the chase right away. It looks here that you got into some deep trouble, but with the monster. Crazy. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure my colleague here is wrong. He always messes up names, phrases, all the rest. So just please help me, and this will be easy. Let's start. Where were you on the 6th of May? 6th of May at the station. The 6th of May was a train station. We're not making this easy, guys. What about the 9th of May? May. The airport. The airport. airport. We were at the airport. Why? Well, doing science, of course. Doing what? what? Of course, if you, if you allow us to explain. Huh? It's whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. It's okay, guys. It's not a gun. It's just a deck of cards. Frank, you need to teach your guys how to search people, okay? What's the point in this? Just a deck of cards. Well, officers, if you give us two minutes, we can perhaps try to persuade you that what you call a crime is actually part of a scientific experiment. So, let's say that each card represents a person. For example, we may have four gentlemen and four ladies. So they are in some public place in which there are two emergency exits, represented by the two aces. So these people will run toward the emergency exit if they are scared. For instance, if a monster appears. Now, say that there is some monster. This guy is scared, so he runs toward this emergency exit, and this will cause these people to follow him. These other people will run toward the other emergency exit, and this will create a symmetry break breaking point. Now, if we are in a situation in which the number of individuals is large, The guy running toward an emergency exit won't affect the behavior of the entire population, so that the individual will eventually distribute equally between the two exits. I got it! It's just like them particles in Europe, they smash them into each other and then they zip away! No, but... thanks. So do people actually do this? Well, that's the whole point. Up to now it's just a theory. We're doing experiments to see if this actually happens in the real world or not. And you can apply this, this theory to different systems. So have you seen those experiments where ants can take food from two different sources? Or customers queuing up for two shops? Well, theoretically, any population with two such states can exhibit this type of behavior. Are you saying that you've got a model, uh -huh. you don't know it works, yeah. so you go out and scare people yeah. to prove your point? This is horrific. Theoretical research is often misunderstood. Yeah, okay guys, let's stop it. You know the monster, so just tell us who he is and we'll let you go right now. I actually don't know him. Oh, huh? We don't even know if he's the same person. They're always wearing a mask. But we don't care because we do science together. Alright, that's enough. I'm gonna have to take you to see the Chief Commissioner. Stand up. I'm 
I'm still pretty sure them particles are involved somehow. Come in! Evening, Chief. I've got something for you. What is it, Frank? You too. Get in. You know these two? I was watching the interrogation on CCTV and I've made up my mind. The Conecos have actually just set them free. What? This isn't right. Nothing justifies what they did. People could have got hurt. Did you not hear me, Frank? Right, you are, Chief. You too. Get out. I like those two. There was a time when I wanted to be like them. Instead, life forced me behind this desk. In fact, this job leaves me with quite a lot of free time, which I happily spend keeping myself informed about the progress of science. It's a science that counts anyway. And now and then, I still like to help.